We did previously calculate the timeout value for TCP based on RTT value and its variations. However, making a more efficient protocol may need faster ways to detect a possible packet loss. Based on receiver act generation, if there are gaps within the received segments, duplicate ACK will be generated. TCP fast retransmit is using this characteristic. If sender receives three acknowledgements for the same data, which is an event called triple duplicate ACKs, it will resend the on act segments with the smallest sequence number. This is because it will consider the triple duplicate acts as a sign of gaps existing in the receiver side buffer, which might be due to lost segments. Let's explore this with an example. Assume the sender, host A, sends the first segment with sequence number 92 and 8 bytes, and the second segment with sequence number 120 bytes and three more following segments with higher sequence numbers after. If the segment with sequence number 100 is lost, host B will keep sending acknowledgements with sequence number 100. On receipt of three of these acts, triple duplicate acts, which might be well before the timeout for the segment with sequence number 100, this will trigger the fast retransmit of segment with sequence number 100.